Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to do an index card activity of our own. And this is a great activity for use with social media because you can just kind of put it on steroids and get it out there in the Twitterverse, if you will. Uh, you could use it as a great capstone activity with your students. You've taught them something and you want them to recap what their key takeaway was. They could do it on an index card. So it's really an easy thing to do. Uh, what I'll do first, though, is get out of PowerPoint here and show you just a little bit of inspiration, um, show you what your colleagues in North Jersey did yesterday. I made a photo collage of some of the things that they were able to do to get uh, yesterday. So um, you can do this low tech or you can do it high tech. How many of you have ever worked with paint in um, Microsoft products? A few of you. OK, so that you'll learn a new tech skill today as well. Now, paint is interesting. They actually had an announcement last week uh, that, they, that Microsoft was going to take paint away. And I learned yesterday at the North Jersey conference there was such an uproar that they've actually reversed that decision. So it's a great editing tool, particularly if you want to create graphic images and put them into social media. And all the research shows that if you can have uh, the visual impact in your tweets or your Facebook, for example, a picture or a video or something like that, people are going to pay much more attention to your message than if you just have text. So that's the kind of the end game. But I did give you options. So when I was at the uh, Next Gen Summer Institute two weeks ago in Palo Alto, one of my activities that I worked on was to create the step-by-step -step instructions. I'm going to show you how to use paint. Um, and you can do it that way if you'd like. Some people kind of got stopped out uh, with paint and, and did do a PowerPoint image, but then they just emailed me their PowerPoint and I finished it off last night. That's fine too. Or if you want to go low tech, and low tech is fine too, some of our teachers went low tech, that's what your index card is for that you picked up when you came in. Okay? So your, your decision how to do it, but I'm going to walk you through how you would do it with paint. And while I'm doing that, be thinking about if you wanted to give one financial tip to a young person, your best piece of advice, what would that be? What would you put on your index card? And then my plans are I'm going to be putting together more video collages. I didn't have a whole lot of time last night. And um, we're gonna, I'm going to make a video of all your ideas. And that's another thing you can do with your students. If you work with iMovie or Movie Maker, know how to use those tools, you could actually take those digital images and make a short video of the personal finance uh, advice. So I just took this little um, video that they had in their library and just made a whole lesson out of it. And it's one thing that you could easily replicate. So basically, it's just a PowerPoint slide that's blank. And there's a copy of it on the um, back of your handouts as well. Uh, one of the handouts, uh, the one with the slides, has a copy of what I emailed you. So it's just a blank index card with lines on it. Okay. So what you would do, and I'll just back out of this, and I did this yesterday as an example, is you've got a blank index card. So what you need to do is do insert text box, and then you'll get your text box. And then whatever your piece of advice happens to be, so I'll just go back and put pay yourself first. And you might want to bling it out, as I said to the teachers yesterday, and some of them did. So you could have school logos. You could have piggy banks. You can do whatever. You might want to change the colors so we could make this, um, oh, let's say the color of money. We'll make it green. And maybe we'll just, you know, make it a much bigger font. And you might have to resize the text box to make sure that the letters kind of line up on a line on the index card. Uh, so whatever your message happens to be. And it could be a couple words. It could be a sentence. We had somebody who did a, a, about five or six different pieces of advice. So whatever you'd like to do. Then, so right now we're still in PowerPoint. So the next step, and again, I have these all written out for you. That was what I did out at the um, Summer Institute to make sure this could be a really good handout, is then you have to take a screenshot of your PowerPoint. 
So depending on how your computer works, on this particular computer of mine, I just press um, print screen. Uh, with uh, another computer that I have, I have to do function print screen. And then what you want to do is pop up paint. And if you use it often enough, and usually I have it at, on my other computer, it pops up right away. Otherwise, you're going to have to go into Windows, Accessories, and scroll down to Paint. And it'll look something like that. And it's just a blank screen. And then what you would do is you would paste the screenshot that you just took of your index card with your financial advice, and you would put that into Paint. Um, and at that point, you would just do a save. And I just have a convention with all my paint images of um, calling it paint. And then we're just going to call this sample for now. So I give it a file name. okay, And then I'll save it. And pick whatever place in your computer you want to save it to. And you save it. And then. All you need to do uh, at that point is, once you've saved it, is you want to crop it down because you want to have the final product. So in Paint, what you can do is you can use the Edit tool and crop and rotate. And again, I have all these steps written down for you on the handout, so you don't have to be writing anything down. And then it's kind of like any kind of cropping that you might do on your smartphone if you crop photos that you take. Uh, you just kind of get it to where you want it. I'm going to leave the blue border on. And then all I have to do is click on Done and um, Save. And now this is a final image of an index card with financial advice that you could share out in the world with the Twitterverse. Okay? So I'm going to give you some time to do your index card. And what I'd like you to do is, those of you that are on Twitter, once you get it done, if you um, can get on Twitter, and we have been unblocked. We were blocked this morning, but our, our man Dave took care of us, and we are now on Twitter. Uh, you can put it out to the world. And again, our hashtag is FEBC, hashtag FEBC17. Okay? If you find that this is a little too high tech for you, you can either send me um, a direct message on Twitter, and my handle is MoneyTalk1, so at MoneyTalk1, or, and or you can send me an email, and my email address is um, on the handout. Uh, on the front page there. It's, um, it's actually a new one, but this one.